Hello there, I'm Walter Bernasiak and this is Top 5. Here we count down the best and worst performances of our most beloved actors. Reach for the sky! Because today we're talking about the best of everyone's favorite deputy, Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks has had one hell of a career. The two-time Oscar winner and five-time nominee has been a constant presence in Hollywood since the early 80s. At 60 years old, he's still leading films a few times a year, and his newest effort, Sully, directed by Clint Eastwood, hit theaters this past weekend. So, let's give thanks for Hanks. <laughs> yeah. Number five, Captain John Miller in Saving Private Ryan. Tom Hanks rarely makes a bad movie and is always a welcome personality to see up on the big screen, so choosing just five performances from him was no easy task. Saving Private Ryan was revolutionary for many reasons, but without Hanks as Captain Miller, I don't think it would have quite reached the legendary status it has today. When his three brothers are all killed in combat, World War II soldier James Ryan is supposed to be sent home to the States. Finding him, however, is another story. Captain John Miller and a small group of his finest men are tasked with the mission to bring the young Ryan home. But that's easier said than done in the middle of war-torn Europe. Hanks is our guide from the beginning of the film. The iconic Normandy battle sequence is mostly from his perspective, and in the middle of the madness, he shows us a combination of courage and fear that sets the tone for the rest of the movie. He isn't the only great performance here, but I believe his is the most impressive because of the many hats Captain Miller is forced to wear throughout the film. In front of his men, he is almost always absolute in his commands and even has a sense of humor about his authority at times. The best scenes come when that wall is taken down and we see the real man behind the uniform. He can be funny. Ramel! Ramel. The babysitter bridge! That's the last I seen of him, great, sir! Great! Th thank you, thank you, right, thank you. Read, read, and thank you. He can be a mentor. I can't see my brother's faces. I want to think of home. I, I think of something specific. I think of my, my hammock in the backyard. My wife pruning the rose bushes and a pair of my old work gloves. But most importantly, we can see him at his most vulnerable. My favorite scene in this features Captain Miller trying to explain how he lives with giving commands that can get his men killed. When you end up killing one of your men, you, see, you tell yourself, it happened so you could save the lives of two or three or ten others. So you rationalize making the choice. Of course, directed by Steven Spielberg, Saving Private Ryan is a classic film with Hanks going above and beyond to prove once again just how great he can be. Number four, Mike Sullivan in Road to Perdition. When discussing the best performances of Tom Hanks, this one is often overlooked. It's a departure for him in many ways and it features basically none of his trademark humor. Also a bit of a forgotten film, but it absolutely deserves to be recognized. Mike Sullivan is the stone-cold yet honorable enforcer of Midwestern crime boss John Rooney. When Mike's eldest son sees his father involved in a botched mob killing, Rooney's organization, led by his son Connor, turns against its greatest ally. This leads to Mike and his son going on the run from the mob while discovering a father-son bond that had previously not existed. Based on a comic book, this is a darker role that Hanks filled well. Who knew he could be such a believable badass? He shines in the violent, intense scenes while also authentically conveying a strained father-son relationship, a relationship that is the heartbeat of the film. He also plays down a lot of his usual charisma for a stoic yet interesting man hell-bent on revenge while simultaneously trying to keep his son from making the same mistakes he did. Along with Tyler Hoechlin, who plays Hanks' son and was just cast as Superman in the Supergirl TV show, Paul Newman, Jude Law, Stanley Tucci, and a pre-James Bond Daniel Craig round out a great main cast that have some good chemistry, resulting in some fantastic scenes. Director Sam Mendes creates a visually stunning piece with a pitch-perfect tone that succeeds in every way it attempts. The rain scene? The movie is worth watching alone just for this scene. It's incredible. I can make this whole video just about Road to Perdition. It's a film that doesn't get the recognition it deserves, and Hanks is a big reason why it's so good. Go check this one out. Number three. Josh Baskin in Big. I have a soft spot for this movie. I remember it from when I was a kid, and looking at it now, I can see just how brilliant Hanks really was playing a 12-year-old in a 30-year-old's body. After being embarrassed at a local carnival for being too short to ride, 
12-year-old Josh Baskin makes a wish to be big on a creepy fortune teller machine called Zoltar. The next day, Josh wakes up as a 30-year-old man. With the help of his best friend Billy, Josh manages to get a job in the city, his own apartment, and even an adult girlfriend. Josh must navigate the challenges of adulthood while trying to find the Zoltar machine that was the genesis of his metamorphosis. From the first moment we see him, Hanks is undeniably believable as a 12 and later 13 year old. From the innocence in his face to the nervous habits of a preteen, Hanks really embodies the spirit of a kid that age. I'd say it's his most enjoyable performance. Delightful is not a word I often use, but it applies here. The movie and Hanks as Baskin are just that, delightful. The famous piano scene encapsulates the joyfulness of this film perfectly. How he interacts with the other adults throughout the movie is always fun to watch. His effect on them is always entertaining. Side note, the Zoltar machine is legit creepy. The mystery surrounding it is aided by a great design and interesting visuals that create a sense of fright and wonder. Great job by director and my favorite Laverne, Penny Marshall. For almost any other actor, Big would probably be the performance of a career. But we're talking about Tom Hanks here, folks. Onward and upward. Number two. Forrest Gump in Forrest Gump. Don't worry, I'm not gonna do a Forrest Gump impression. I guess. Slow-witted but lovable and always positive, Forrest Gump is the inspiring story of a man who lives life to the fullest. Whether he's falling into historical events, playing ping pong, or just running, Forrest can always make the best of a bad situation. However, the love of his life, Jenny, takes a more troubled road on her journey as she crosses paths with Forrest when she least expects it. The two have a special relationship that is chronicled from childhood to adulthood. A lot of what worked for Hanks in Big works here as well, just in a different way. His childlike optimism is still front and center. This time, however, it created a cultural phenomenon. I can recall kids yelling, run, Forrest, run, all the time back when this came out. It's a performance that people really connected to, and Hanks has the gold to show for it. This movie shows a ton of bad stuff happening. Allusions to child abuse, friends and loved ones dying, the horrors of war, and more. But it's shown through the eyes of an innocent man. It's shown through the eyes of someone who, against all odds, takes it in stride and makes the best possible life for himself. That's probably why people like this character so much. I'll admit, I didn't grow up with Forrest Gump. I didn't see the movie till later on, so I don't quite have the connection to him that others do. However, I can see why he's such an inspirational character. Also, he loves Dr. Pepper, a man after my own heart. How can I not like him? His incorruptibility shows itself in a few amazing scenes. Why don't you love me, Jenny? Is, is he smart? He's very smart. He's one of the smartest in his class. It's an honest performance and feels sincere. The movie's third act is where most of those moments are, and they work great. Hanks, along with Robert Zemeckis, Eric Roth, Alan Silvestri, and more, created an everlasting character. Never stop running, Forrest. I can't stress how difficult it was to only choose five great Tom Hanks performances. His career is full of them. So, before we get to number one, let's take a look at some honorable mentions. And the number one best Tom Hanks performance is Chuck Nolan in Castaway. I need to clear this up right now. This is not my favorite Tom Hanks performance. I don't think it's his most enjoyable or the most fun to watch. But what this guy went through to make this movie, carrying an entire feature film by himself, how he made us care about a volleyball, he gave all of himself to make this character happen. There is no way I could have ranked this performance below the top spot. FedEx executive Chuck Nolan leads a busy life, often putting work in front of family. When his plane crashes into the ocean and he narrowly survives, he washes ashore on an uncharted, uninhabited island. With nothing but a few FedEx packages, a volleyball named Wilson, and his will to survive, Nolan holds on to hope that one day he may return home to see his fiancée, Heather, and regain the love that was ripped away from him. Hanks gained 50 pounds to play Nolan at the beginning of the movie. They shot all those scenes, then took a full year off from filming. In the time in between, Robert Zemeckis made a whole other movie. 
When they resumed filming a year later, Hanks had dropped all the weight and then some, grew his hair out, and looked like a completely different person. Now, all of this could have been for nothing. Just because you lose and gain weight doesn't mean you'll give a great performance. But he does. Hanks is on screen by himself for most of the movie, and while yes, it does drag a little bit at a few points, for the most part, he makes the movie interesting. His interactions with the environment and just learning to survive makes for a really unique and engaging film experience. And who wasn't yelling, Wilson, after this movie was over? He was having believable conversations with an inanimate object. We might just make it. Did that thought ever cross your brain? Well, regardless, I would rather take my chance out there on the ocean than to stay here and die on this shithole island, spending the rest of my life talking to a goddamn Bible! I wanted to mention that the plane crash scene is actually terrifying. It's seemingly very realistic, and there is some impressive effects work done in there, too. Hanks had to go through a lot in that sequence as well. The movie tugs at your heartstrings and doesn't stop through the very end. The island stuff is the biggest part, of course, but his conversations back at home are also very compelling. Tom Hanks is a master. There's nothing else I can say. The guy is amazing. If you want his best performance, go ahead and check out Castaway. If you want his best movie, in my opinion, maybe you should watch Road to Perdition or Big for fun Tom Hanks. You can also check out Forrest Gump or Saving Private Run. You see my problem here? I want to hear what you guys think. What is your favorite Tom Hanks movie and or performance? Who do you want me to cover next on the show? Leave a comment and let me know. Follow me on Twitter at awesome underscore Walter and come back next week when we count down the top five worst, no, no. Hey, we're, uh, we're not still doing that, are we? We are. Uh, okay. Well, this is gonna be difficult.